Welcome back guys to Not Closet with Marky Mark here. Let's go straight to the Raptors. What do we have, JR? Man, the Raptors, they just, in the first time in franchise history, have uh, sweeped the West Coast, uh, West Coast trip and they've gone 4-0. They beat uh, the Lakers, Utah, Sacramento, and there's one team I'm missing. Uh, there's one that they played recently. Sacramento, uh, Sacramento, Utah. Sacramento, Utah. Either way, they, yeah. they, they went on a four game win streak uh, o- uh, overseas and now they have the best record in the NBA, 11-1. and one. This is a great start to the Raptors franchise. Uh, Raymond, I want to get your thoughts about what do you think so far about the Kawhi hey, Leonard the Raptor Raptors? Games. Yeah. Oh, man. It's... I've actually been trying to watch as much of the Raptors games as I can. Yeah. Yeah. And if not, I watch the highlights because yeah. I really want to get up to date. But uh, first and foremost, obviously, there's Kawhi and Green mm-hmm. uh, and the kind of defensive... Uh, value they've added mm-hmm. i mean raptors had pretty good defense but so far in, in the games that i've been watching like they have some instances where they have like double blocks mm-hmm. because there's two of oh, them I going up to that's block nice. so yeah. like th- those are always exciting to watch mm-hmm. uh but for me personally i like lowry mm-hmm. uh I and so. i know he hasn't been shooting uh or making uh points as much as he had in the past because mm-hmm. i know like 2016 2017 his average was higher mm-hmm. but assist wise I think he has the highest he's leading, leading assist, assist, right? Yeah, exactly. And I think he's, mm-hmm. he's averaging 11 right now a game. Yeah. And that, to me, just kind of shows that he's becoming more of a leader, more of a team player. Because mm-hmm. it's like, for me personally, I see the fact that if you're not making all the, all the buckets, but you're getting the rest of your team into it, that kind of shows that you're leading the, your team in, in, that, in that sense as a, yeah. as a point guard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and apart from that, Ibaka has been pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> finally yeah. Using, was it? They finally had a game, game high. Correctly. Uh, he had like 34 point games. His, his, his own career high. Yeah. Miss. That, that, was, that was really exciting to Basically, watch. Basically, those two games, Lakers and Utah, which is the only back-to-back game they have on the West Coast trip, which yeah. was, was the hardest yeah. uh, from the viewer standpoint, mm-hmm. they only missed at least two shots within between those two games mm-hmm. in total. So it's, it's you know, Sergi Baca. Sergi Baca is playing well. I think Nick Nurse has integrated him or let him, you know, Put him Put in the right spot. spots. Exactly. Um, I mean, I would, we were all like going after it. That's Trey Ibaka. He's yeah. just, mm-hmm. he's been trashed. Like, but now he's like, oh, never yeah. mind. He's, we, he just basically proved all of us wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I, I remember I, I saw a picture where it's like uh, James Harden, Russ Brook, and Kevin Durant, and Sergi Ibaka, the four Who's man next to the MVP. <laughs> Who's next to MVP? I think it's Sergi Ibaka. Oh. But speaking of the awards, I think this is a very early conversation about uh, the Toronto Raptors. We have. Kawhi Leonard, Kyle Lowry, who could potentially be, if they are healthy and play at the, still continue to build up and play that very well, early MVP candidates. Mm-hmm. Kawhi Leonard, obviously, early candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. Mm-hmm. Pascal Siakam, most and improved. most improved. And maybe in the six man category, maybe you throw in the, the JV. Yeah, let's JV, see how JV plays, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, having all that conversation about, you know, early conversation about who could win a war, because I think. Those are those are the top guys who could be in the conversation. It's it's exciting to see. Like, Maybe the these, better these question really is out of all the awards that they we could possibly win as a team, Coach of the Year, Nick Nurse, MVP, <laughs> Lowry, <laughs> Defensive Player of the Year. We got Len, uh, Kawhi, and uh, we got Six Man of the Year. We got you know JV, and you get most improved Pascal. Who's most likely to kind of be in that conversation till the end of the year? I think I think Defensive Player of the Year because Kawhi. He, he, he talked about it, his post-game um, press conference within in Sacramento. They, the Raptors haven't touched the ceiling yet. Mm-hmm. They still have yet to uh, implement you know, their offense, defense. He said himself, he's not used to the offense yet. Mm-hmm. So if he's scoring this many points, and getting all these easy. rebounds and getting all these defensive steals, and he doesn't, still doesn't know the offense either, yeah. what else can he prove to us that he's still one of the best players in the league? And it's going to be, like, again, it's going to be very exciting to see if he can keep it up and he stays healthy. Right now, we're undefeated with him playing with us. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, he might be that MVP candidate sooner or later mm-hmm. if, he, if they don't keep resting him. But yeah. either way, that's, you know, it all matters when, they, when we play in June and uh, yeah. April and May. And, and one thing I want to add to that, too. Uh, I mean, it's always good that we have Kawhi playing. But at the same time, we had a couple of games where he wasn't playing at all. They were resting him. Right. And even those games, we were doing really, really well. Mm-hmm. So, like, most of the time, if, if we don't have, you know, people are thinking if we don't have him, uh, if he's injured or on the side for very crucial games, we're probably going to bomb it. Mm-hmm. But, like, for the past couple of games where he wasn't there or, or he was resting, mm-hmm. I think we have a pretty good chance, you know, to consistently keep this record up, mm-hmm. uh, even if he does sit out a couple of games. So, 
This is why my vote is for MVP. Lowry has a pretty good chance to oh, win yeah. it. If yeah. he keeps playing like this, Double and they doubles. keep sitting out Kawhi on certain yeah. uh, on certain games, Lowry's gonna have a, you know he's gonna have a monster season. Yeah, and he could be in that conversation for the rest of the and, year. And through twelve games, honestly, no one's been healthy on the team yet. Mm-hmm. Delon Wright was out first game. Van 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 Vliet had turf toe. Mm-hmm. Kawhi Leonard, you know, he he was re- he was resting back to backs, and he had he had a a, a sprain. And Norm mm-hmm. Powell. Uh, wish him uh, well, you know, he, he hurt his weeks. shoulder, yeah. uh, four to six weeks, we'll miss him out, yeah. but... We miss OG too, a couple games. No, yeah, yeah. It personally, uh, and uh, yeah, personal reasons, mm-hmm. but we haven't seen our full roster yet, mm-hmm. and this is very early in the season. Can they compete with the Golden State Warriors? Maybe. We, we don't know. We don't know I, yet. They I, I'm, I'm not yet. even yeah. saying no, it's not possible, we can't even think about it. We don't know. We don't know yet. We can't tell. Mm-hmm. But so far... They are the best in the Eastern Conference. That mm-hmm. no, like no one else. Milwaukee, uh, 76ers, Celtics, they're they're in the top five. And then Washington Wizards, you know, we talked about them. Washington Wizards are not playing mm-hmm. very, very well, but Toronto Raptors are the best in the East and they're the team to beat. And hopefully they can translate this from the regular season uh, and then take out the demons and take it on the playoffs and make mm-hmm. a deeper run. Mm-hmm. And we do this every time before we end our segments. We always get our, uh, our guests to, to make a prediction of what they want to see from the Raptors. So I want to hear from you, Ray. What do you expect from the Raptors by the end of the season? What, do you, what are the things that you want to see from them? Man, I just, I just want us to win a championship. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't, Why not? I don't care about the awards and stuff like that. I mean, that's, I mean, that's like an individual per player. But yeah. the way I see it, a championship win is not just for you know one or two players it's for the whole team and for the whole country mm-hmm. and we haven't even won a championship so who knows what's going to happen next year i'm hoping Kawhi stays you never know but at yeah, least for this year cousin, like give yeah. us give us this yeah and um we can riot in the streets after so i totally <laughs> agree i mean streets. this is the best uh time and the best opportunity for the raptors to really take it all home and that's all we have guys all about the raptors and this is our show i hope you guys enjoyed it before we end the show what have you got to say, JR? Last things. Hey, man, just don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts. Print our crossover on Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. All of our content is there. Join in the conversation. What do you guys think about the Raptors season so far? What do you think about the Washington Wizards? Should they blow up? And Houston Rockets as well. And what do you think about Philip Harris night as well? And Ray, close it all off. Shout out to all the uh, Filipinos watching this, non-Filipinos, basketball fans alike, as well as Southeast Cartel and the rest of the Filipino hip-hop community, man. Shout out to Nina, shout out to Ian, and thank you guys for having me in the show once again. No problem, thanks for coming. We always love having you talking ball now. You know, he's going to watch more basketball, more Raptors, (laughs) so I'm happy to see that. And I hope you guys do too. Keep following the Raptors. And other than that, guys, stay balling.